regardless of what happens with the fiscal cliff, here we go, America's <laughs> long-term problems won't be resolved. We're facing what I've called the demographic cliff, an aging population that demands huge Social Security and medical spending. Bill Frez is a fellow at the Competitive Institute, and he wrote an article today called, quote, Will aging childless voters enslave my future grandchildren? Your typical, just calm, not controversial headline at all, Bill, but we do appreciate you joining us. Uh, listen, obviously the headline is very attention-grabbing. I like some of your points, but people are going to push back and say, what's the answer? Telling grandma, no, I'm sorry, you can't have medical care? Well, look at the data. Uh, look at the data, Brian. We have two trends on a collision course, and it's a slow-motion train wreck. The first is a rise of post-familialism. This is the tendency to young, for young people to not get married, not form families, and not have babies. And the numbers are quite startling. And that's, of course, colliding with entitlement democracy, where we promise the elderly all these benefits. We'll see this hit first in Asia. Look at Japan, look at Taiwan, look at Singapore, look at Hong Kong. Their birth rate is trending down towards one live birth per woman. That means every generation, the population halves. We've never seen that in all of human history. Even the Black Plague didn't do that big a, a, a job. Except that in Asia, one of the good things is that they still have very much a system where we would look after the elderly and grandma and grandpa could come and live with us. That doesn't seem to be the case here in America and other westernized developed countries. The government is stepping in to the place of the family. Where does this end and does it end badly, Bill? I think, I think it ends in, in, uh, in deep declines in Western civilization. And again, you're oh. right, that we have, we, the Asian family culture is stronger than ours, but look at Greece, look at Italy, look at Southern Europe, which is trending down to one and a half. Look at the United States, where families are falling apart. I mean, this is going to be a problem in the long term that's going to create a day of reckoning for democracies all over the world. So what do we do? How do we fix it? Again, telling grandma no, death panel, I mean, what's the answer? You know what, there is no fixing it. There is no fixing it. This is just something we have to watch. I mean, the trends are unstoppable once they get rolling. I mean, there are an entire cohort of young Japanese men they call herbivores. These are young men who live on comic books, video games, pornography, and masturbation. This is where society is heading. I mean, and, and we're seeing that happen here. All you can do is look out for yourself. I don't think there's going to be an answer in the long run. Well, we need more babies for a start, and productive babies at that. You can all support us in our old age, right? Sounds well, like the herbivores aren't going to help with that either. <laughs> no, but we, you know, we can rely on immigration. And one, one thing about America is we can suck the rest of the world dry. If we can continue to attract hardworking young people from other countries, they'll go over the cliff and we'll still be around. Yeah, the data, listen, the da people don't want to talk. I almost feel like, Bill, sometimes, because I'll go on some other shows, other networks, MSNBC, whatever, try to talk about the numbers, and it gets people worked up. And I think sometimes it's just scary, right? It's scary to say that the, the typical median income household is going to extract hundreds of thousands of dollars more in medical care and Social Security than they ever paid into the system, right? That Nobody wants to hear that. So, so how do we get over the political hump? It doesn't sound like you think that anybody's actually going to be able to solve the problem. So the end of that tells me is the eventually the U.S. defaults. Well, yeah, hyperinflation and along comes a man on a horse. I mean, this is how history solves these problems. You know, the problem with entitlement democracy is eventually you run out of other people's babies. And I don't know that there's anything we can do to stop that. Except for perhaps rising above, we need a politician who can stand up and make the tough decisions. Bill, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you.